I just finished editing this really fun video. It's got all of our uh, videos that I did on TikTok for an entire year. It starts at December 31st, 20... No, sorry. January 21st, uh, 2020. And it goes all the way to December 31st, 2020. It's got all the videos I put on there and a lot of our uh, TikTok videos. So uh, the video is three hours long. It's best to just kind of kick back and watch everything that's going on here at our kennel. But uh, it's fun to see the puppies being born, uh, going for walks, playing fetch, and uh, getting harness broke, and developing into little sled dogs. So uh, I hope you enjoy the video. I'm sorry that it's long, but it was really fun to do. And uh, we'll talk to you later. But like, I can't come here and make my house here, right? No, you can't. Okay. okay. <laughs> that it's public, but not so public. <laughs> yeah, this is my neighbor's hunting shack. They have 80 acres there. Oh. Is the old dogs out this afternoon? What? We had customers from Great Britain this morning. And two young gentlemen, from, one's from Uruguay and one's from Brazil. Brazil? Oh, hi! <laughs> thank you guys, it's awesome! Yeah, thank you, you having fun? Yeah, yeah, super fun! Lots of snow in Brazil, right? <laughs> yeah, a yeah, oh. lot! <laughs> We're giving the young dogs a rest today, but Star-Lord ran in lead again. Oh. And uh, Autumn ran the uh, uh, rabbit side by side. So giving some of the main crew a, a break, so I'll be busy the next four days until I think we're busy till Monday. A beautiful day in the woods. Talk to you later. Got the old dogs out. Trail's still in great shape. The wind picked up this afternoon. It's pretty windy out here. Got debris blowing all over the place and the dogs are chasing leaves, etc. Having a good time. We got three little ones in the sled. You guys having fun? Yeah. Old dogs are happy to get to go out today. Beautiful day in northern Minnesota. Talk to you later. You want to fight? Whee! <laughs> oh, you want to fight? You want to fight? Ah!
Bear Grease trail markers are out. And some nice orange reflective signs here. Being the trail boss is a tough job for that volunteer. They have to put up 300 miles of these trail markers and then everything down to the at various checkpoints along the trail. And then they have to tear them all down. <laughs> it's a big job. But grooming today, taking the bumps out of the trail, smoothing it out. We're supposed to get a little bit of snow tonight. It'll be nice freshen things up. Plenty of snow this year, that's for sure. Fun fun. Keep on trucking. Cars parked there at night, they'll tow it. Boy, they just love to run. Last hill. Just a beautiful area. What is this line you have? I almost didn't make it up this hill. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have time to take a picture of us? Yep. Let me tie the dogs off first. Yeah. No. Yeah. Sure. Good boy, Mr. Groot. First time running in lead. Good job, buddy. That's a buddy. Good boy, Groot. Good girl, Yana. You did a good job. Oh, good boy, Mr. Groot. Good boy. That's a good boy. Okay, on the on the cutter, yeah. Okay. Coast Guard. So, I had two, two years isolated duty up there in Alaska on the island. Ah, I got you. That's how you know all that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're kind of a West Coast guy. Well, I also, uh, my oldest son was born in uh, New Hampshire. Okay. And uh, did most of my tour on the East Coast. And, uh, Five years here in Duluth, and then up in uh, 
on the Columbia River at the Astoria, Oregon area. Okay. Oh, there she goes. She's going to miss yeah. it. <laughs> they see her? Yeah. Start... <laughs> no, no, no. Twelve dog night ride with two clients in the sled. Mr. Gruders is up there with his mom, Diana. <laughs> they love running at night. Lots of power here. A plus team. Warrant, Breve, Winger, Poison. Dizak, Tatsun, Kakina, Baoya, Star Lord, Raven, Groot, and Yana. Chop Duggies. Alright, so to give you a well update, what we have here. Get the light out of the way. Is extremely silty water <clears throat> that's because uh, we've had quite a few I think five water tests from the well drillers now that have come back with uh, chloroform so what they do do is <laughs> that's pure mud. That uh, is the dirtiest water I've seen come out of this well yet. And we're what two months out. So what they do do is we have 140 feet of casing in the earth. And uh, there's 91 feet of water. So that remaining 49 feet of casing has to be disinfected. So what they do is they pump in 200 gallons of water with bleach. And they bleach disinfect the well casing and take a water test. And it comes back positive with chloroform they've done that three times now and last time they did uh, vinegar instead of bleach and um, I'm wondering if the problem is it's testing positive for chloroform which is minimal amounts of bacteria but the lab doesn't tell you the levels of bacteria so it could be from the air it could be from the lab testers themselves it could be from the well drillers touching the bottle it could be from the air that's around when the bottle gets open so uh, you could even get a positive test from your kitchen faucet sink from the aerator that's on there. So um, we're trying to get this well cleared up. So what happens when they push 200 gallons of water, fill it to the top, it goes down into the veins and salinates the veins or disinfects the veins but 140 feet down there's no bacteria down there nothing bad that's going to be in northern Minnesota in the middle of winter so trying to clear it up so I can fill up my buckets I got two buckets left this was clear 
earlier tonight, but now it's dirty again. Got one, two buckets left for morning bait water. See what happens. Off the grid. Yana. Are you hot? Who's a hot dog? We got one client in the sled. Autumn, that her first time on the big toboggan. I'm double sledding it here. We got the older dogs: Chevelle and Grace, Oli and Rymo, Oreo and Jet. Breves by himself. And mini Tesla and sister. Nice warm sunny day. Getting close to spring. Juneau, you know, Minnesota. We'll be getting some snow here soon. <laughs> what a wonderful day in the woods. Good doggies. Had our first run with Casper and Bebop. You see Bebop's got the smooth um, 
inchworm style husky gait. Casper, she's a little stiff in the neck and the head. They're both working pretty hard. Casper's dipping a little bit, but put them back at wheel. It's their first run here at the kennel. Doing pretty good. They handle the speed pretty well. Beautiful fit. Hey, go dog sledding. Beautiful shape. As you can see, I'm pulling snow because I tenderized it first. And it leaves a nice smooth surface here. As you can see, things are still looking pretty good. Lots of snow left. Great time of year for dog sledding. I love March. Nice and sunny. Got super silty water today. That's the first time I've seen it that bad. I don't know if this is a spring thing or what. Can't give that to the dogs, can't even filter it. It's disgusting. Here, I'll show you in the bucket. Mud water. I'm gonna have to let this run for a while, clear it up. Good morning, it's Thursday, March 3rd, or 19th today. We had a little bit of fresh snow. We got clients coming down from uh, Lutzen, heading back home. Want to go dog sledding, so grooming the trail, making sure everything's safe for dogs and for clients, which I do every single day. Our trail's groomed daily. Still good snow out here. We're going to stretch this thing out probably till early April, so if you're bored and cooped up and you want to go dog sledding, come on up, book online, talk to you later. People often ask if we see wildlife out on the trail. Um, you know, we see the basic stuff. We do have moose and we do have wolves. You can see this guy. This wolf was taking his time, probably late last night or early this morning. 
walking down the trail. They like to use our trail because it's easier for them to walk and cover the distances they need to cover while they're hunting. But we got our typical wildlife, you know, bunnies, uh, porcupines, they're not much fun, but uh, you got your squirrels, uh, moose, wolves, coyotes, all your winter birds, uh, lynx, and bobcat. Lots of cool stuff out here. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah. True. Come on. They probably look better than you. Come on. They get so competitive with each other. As soon as we go fast, she's <laughs> they're racing each other. <laughs> Half sisters there. Come on. Very naughty. How to shoot a red squirrel, part 87. Back to sleep.
the press. Right now, get 25% off all subs ordered only through the Jersey Mike's app for delivery and no contact at the door pickup. Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. It's uh, a, a small finger, a uh, worm, like a, a uh, tiny sword, a flash stick. Saving folks money. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance.
Ow, 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 ow. Bite my toes. Ow. Guys. Okay, I gotta sit up. <laughs> I know. Getting rowdy over here, huh? Jaw. going <laughs> Pumpkin, where are you going? Be in there. Joan? Joan? You didn't want it earlier. Here. Here. Can you get it now? Got there, dude. What you got there, dude? Ah, can't sit down here.
Hey. Oh, you got the zoomies? No? John, John, come here. Good girl. Oh, vicious. Come chew on me. Quite entertaining. Ow! He's got sharp needle teeth. Look at those teeth. Look at those two first. Show them they're all big, vicious puppy. What are we now? Four and a half weeks? Be five weeks Friday, I think. You guys are so mean to Alice. <laughs> what are you guys doing in there? Come play out here. Come play outside. Ow! <laughs> gonna pull me apart? Where you going, Alice? Where you going? <laughs> so little. Tiny little dog. I don't think I've ever had a puppy that small. Oh, vicious. Watch out. Here she comes. Can. Come play. Pumpkin.
It's getting rowdy. It's getting rowdy today. There goes mom. Let's take a nap. You guys won't let her sleep. Alice is getting picked on again. Bite my toe. That's my toe. Uh oh, here we go. Take down big chunky brother. Chunky brother. Oh, too hard. Ouch. Did you beat him up, Pearl? <laughs> you missed the door there, bud. <laughs> What? Okay, hi Pearl, okay. Hi Pearl. Pearl wants to hang out in the lap. I gotcha.
Okay, everybody's going to bed. Pearl, are you going to take a nap? <laughs> you want to take a nap with me? Let me put you in the house. Let me put you in the house. Okay, I'm going to sneak in on the puppies. They had their lunch and now they're all sleeping in the house. Watch how they'll come flying out the door. Watch this. Oh, Toto, you stay out. Hey <laughs> guys, being silly. These are cute puppies. Alice, come on. Come on, Alice. Hi, guys. Hi, Bill. How you doing down in Chicago? This age, well, five weeks today, they chew on everything. We're exploring with our teeth. There's needle teeth, hi, butthole. Mom is barking, she wants to, <laughs> she wants to come in the kennel. We'll let her in in a little bit. I think she needs to, Relieve her memories. She's been outside all day. She wants to get out. She wants to get in. In and out. In and out. In and out. Alice. Alice. Come on, Alice. Alice. Alice! Alice! Come on, Alice! Come on, Alice! Come on! Come on, Alice! Come on! Come on, Alice! Come on! Come on, Alice! They're eating a lot now. We could start feeding them twice a day. This was, what, four cups, I think. Four cups in the morning. I think we can do four in the evening, too. Of course, it's soaked for about half an hour in lots of water so that it's soft and chewy for them. And they can swallow it. Usually one litter of pups will go through uh, <laughs> one pair of shoes or one pair of boots. I got a pair of Crocs that I just tossed that were 13 years old and puppies had done their number <laughs> on them. What you doing there, bud?
There she is. Hi, Alice. You got out. She's a cute girl. And next week, they are going to get their first shot. Par it'll be a parvo shot. Parvo's the number one number one cause of puppy death so we try to make everything every litter on clean ground as much as possible if you're doing the same ground and you don't have you don't have a cement base you're just on dirt it's good to expose it to UV for a year or at least um, bleach it bleach the ground well before the puppies are out there but this is all new ground so I don't have to worry about that <laughs> we're just chewing on dad well we're tenderizing me for later destruction <laughs> they've gotten quite friendly in the last say three four days they change every day they grow every day you see their little personalities develop but I have to get going so we will see you later have a good day Hey, Mo. Hey, Mo. Hey. Can't get up here. <laughs> Can't get up here. Who's got a stick? Give me that stick. First toad of the year. Look at this guy. He's fat. 
fat toy. Toy. Toadie, 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 toadie. Oh, no, toadie. <clears throat> He's a big fat toadie. It's Toyabo's 14th birthday. We're going to have some beef bones. One for Yana, one for Toyabo. We open them up. Puppies want some too. <laughs> Okay, Toyboku, sit. Sit. Toyboku, sit. Sit. No. Uh, butt hurts. He's old. Okay, there you go, buddy. Okay, what about Yana? Yana, can you sit? You can sit. Yana, sit. Sit. There you go. Good girl. Nom, 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 nom. Happy birthday, bud. Come out and play. Is that what you want? To come out and play, huh? You come and play. All right, come and play. Let's go play. Okay, here we go. Let's go play. Come on. Okay, so we're gonna feed the puppies for breakfast. A little bit of water. They're eating twice a day. Total of about 14 cups. Seven pups at seven and a half weeks. Sit. Go back there. Okay, let's sit. We're working on it. Sit. 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 No, sit. 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 You're all sitting. Sit. No, sit. Good puppies. Sit. 
No, sit, 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 sit. Good puppies. Okay, okay. Here you go. Okay. We just started doing it this week, teaching them to sit. Today is probably day three. They learn how to sit. It's easier to treat them as adults if you start them young. To listen to you, and of course the reward is breakfast and puppies. A couple of them have had uh, growth spurts this week, so a little bit leaner than they were last week. Every, every day is different with these guys. And we'll feed them as much as they can eat. That they're fat and happy. Uh oh, it's dark out. Better turn the lights on. Ah, much better. Oh, wait, let me turn the light bar on. Holy smokes! Look at my little buddy. He's so fast. Let him go. He's going. Hey, little buddy. What you gonna do there? Go, 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 go. He's on a mission. He's on a mission. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. All right, we're gonna feed the pups. They are hungry, yummy. Okay, go back, come on. Yep. Alice. Okay, guys. Now, can we sit? We're all sitting, good puppies. Look at that. So, eight and a half weeks. As you can see, they all sat on the first man. These guys have been eating pretty good, actually. I've been feeding them a little too much. They don't finish their breakfast, so. But it's important to uh, train your athletic dogs to eat. Because when we go out on the road, um, your dogs gotta eat, otherwise they get dehydrated and they could get sick. So all these sled dogs are trained to eat. Happy, healthy pups. Mm, yum, 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 yum.
are you being so sassy? What's what's wrong, huh? Why are you being so sassy, Alice? You're so sassy pants. Being sassy. We got the puppies on their first walk on the dirt road this morning. They've been staying in the yard. I brought Auntie Yana. She keep keeping everybody together. They're very curious and they're staying very close to me, which is good. And of course I have treats in my pocket. They're having fun exploring things. Laying in the grass. And pretty soon I'll start walking my mountain bike with them so they get used to the bike. Once they get used to the bike, then I can ride it. You guys having fun? Yeah, I think they're having fun. Okay, so here we are. St. Louis River, the adventure dog Yana. The river is really low right now. Tripod set up. And there's the lower dam. A little tricky crossing the river. We tried to cross over here, hopping boulder to boulder, but there was too big of a gap. That little geese family's over there. So we ended up crossing the river down here, where it was shallower, and there's actually fish uh, running up the river. It's pretty cool. It was probably just a little, well, mid, maybe mid-thigh deep, but probably one of the only places that you can actually cross the St. Louis River this time of year without going over a bridge. Pretty cool. Okay, here we are, officially standing in the middle of the St. Louis River. not too deep right here but it does get up to your thighs. These boulders are too slippery to be jumping back and forth with that moss. There's fish in here. We saw a big sturgeon up by the dam. There's an adventure dog. We ready to go home? We got some really nice long exposure photos of the dam. This would actually be a nice shot right here too, but I don't feel like standing in the water for that long. Maybe next time I'll come back and do that 
The water's really low as long as the summer stays dry. Should we go, baby? All right. Butthole's recycling. <laughs> hey guys, come on. Doing our morning puppy walk. Nice and cool this morning. Good job, butthole. Oh, something got sniped there. Look at that. Bird got sniped. Nice and cool this morning. We got three inches of heavy rain last night in about 25 minutes. Wind and rain. It was coming down hard. I think if it lasted for an hour, it would uh, be back to our 2012 flood. But lots of wind and rain makes it fun. Look at this little guy. You guys having fun? This wears them out pretty good, and they're happy for a few hours. Tatiana. Butthole. Butthole, buddy. Are you ready? You ready? Go get it. Good boy. Good boy. Bring it here, bud. Good boy. Good boy. Fetch it up. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ready? Go get it. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Good job. Good job, puppies. Get it. Good boy, good boy. Bring it here, bud. Good boy. Good boy, fetch it up. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ready? Go get it. Good job, buddy. Good job. Good job, puppies. That is a tall clip. Probably 100 feet there. Check this out. Look at that. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful.
All right, got the roof done on the freezer. It's the top here and the bottom. It's just the 12 by 12 asphalt. Glad I got that done. Puppies have been enjoying watching me. <laughs> Pretty funny. Looking at the rabbits in the yard. All right, check this out. So I ordered um, some vented soffit LP Smart Side 16 footer. And they wrapped it, they sandwiched it in between eight 16 foot 2x6s for your lumber. Sweet! So the vented soffit's going up here. It's going to start on this end. Eight foot is right here to this side. This is the high side of the freezer. How to make Hosenfeffer part one. Got a nice little coney tonight for Mr. Toivo. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Can you speak, Toivo? Speak. 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 Come on, speak. Ah, oh, you can have it. We'll get the whole bunny. Nom, 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 nom. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Ah, oh, tasty. Ah, oh, so good. I ate the whole thing. Check this out, I got a pregnant female and two little ones. I got the two little ones in one shot. And the pregnant, no Toivo, no. No Toivo. Hulan. You want to? <laughs> okay, Zach. You want this buddy? Okay. Go get that bunny. You get him. We eat him up. Well, we got into a predicament here. It was a cheesy head. Is this your new space helmet? <laughs> Do you need help? <laughs> here, I'll help you, buddy. Here. I'll help you. Ready? Pull. Pull. Oh. Dad needs two hands there, bud. I'll help you. Are you better now? Uh huh. 
No more cheese balls for you, huh? What do you think, Toivo? Ready? Go get it! Ready, bud? Ready? Go get it! Good boy, Niner! Ready, bud? Go get it! Good boy, Mr. Niner! Good boy! Bring it here! Good boy! Good boy! That's a good boy! Okay, ready, bud? Ho? But, ready? Picked up a new pair of GBC Grim Reapers for the Can Am Defender. Yesterday, while running dogs, I blew out the sidewall on my Maxxis Bighorn. I hit a very sharp uh, flat rock that cut a hole right here, and I had to turn around and limp home. Made it about three miles. You can see the damage the rubber there. But I called up uh, Duluth Tire, and they got them on a truck for me right away. Had them the next day. So I think later this fall I'll put a new set on the front too. So we'll just run it in two wheel drive for now. But it looks like a pretty sweet tire. They're supposed to ride better. They're eight ply versus the six ply. Got this little logo right there. Logo on the side. Let's go give her a run, see how she rides. Well, initial test, they seem to ride pretty good. I can definitely tell that I'm higher in the rear end, so the fronts will help out more once I get those later this fall. I got my co-pilots here. What do you think about the ride, kids? Yeah. So there you go. Talk to you later. Well, good morning. There's a nice poop. Uh, free running the dogs. Grabbing a little drink here. And look what we got. Frost. First frost of the fall. A little bit chilly this morning. But the dogs are loving it. They were going crazy this morning before I even got outside. They know the temps are dropping. They love the cold weather. Easy to run. Right, Drax? He's a bad boy. Good morning. Another frosty morning fun run. We are 3.2 miles into our 10 and a half mile run. The dog started howling at 4 o'clock this morning. They love this cold weather. They were going crazy, telling me it's time to get out of bed and time to go running. These guys do best at 0 above to 20 below, and that's Fahrenheit. Never had a cold dog. Have had many hot dogs, but no cold ones. They love this cool weather. They run really good, fast. They can run all out without getting hot. It's good looking mutts there. All right. There's my second group for the day. Our ten and a half mile run. My fastest group of dogs, the 80s hair bands. They'll do this 10 and a half mile run in around 37 minutes. They like to cruise around 21 to 23 miles an hour. And Tesla and Sister are right beside me, so this group is six. 
Very fast dogs, always pushing the pace. You can see we're doing 20 on all these bumps. Sometimes I have to go up to 30 to catch up to them. Because I gotta slow down on these bumps. Having fun in the woods. This is our halfway point turnaround for the 10 and a half mile run. I got the two year olds here, and then there's the old man, Mr. Turbo. He's eight. It's taken him a little bit to get back in shape, but he's keeping up with these guys. That's Turbo right there. Hey, Turbo. See, they get a little drink. This morning it was a little bit warmer, a lot more humid. It rained last night, and the grass is wet. So a little bit slower, but the dogs are staying cool and wet. Happy. Big smiles. Hi, Gamora. <laughs> Another beautiful day in the North Woods. Yeah, poop out here so we don't have to clean it up. Good job. Okay, a common misconception that people have about using e-collars is that there's an actually an electric shock to the dog. We use these Garmin tracking collars, has GPS and training if we need it. I don't use that training unless I absolutely have to. And here is the Alpha 100 unit. This is a tone for the red dog. I can switch dogs here. Orange, black, blue. This has 18 levels of stimulation. I'll turn it up to 18. So I will press the button and it's stimulating. But as you can see, there's no shocking. There's no electrical current. It's a muscle stim. So if you ever had physical therapy or you're getting muscles rehabbed, that's all it is. And switch it up a little bit today. I'm running all the boys, my fast boys, six out in front of me. The girls are at home because they're coming in heat. They'll run next together. So we'll run all boys and all girls. Bowie is right beside me. You can't see him. These guys are flying today. I had to do 24, 28 miles an hour to keep up with them. Right now we're doing 20. Twenty-two and they're pulling away. Nice cool fall morning in northern Minnesota. Loving it. Halfway done with our ten and a half mile run. We got seven of the big boys. Big fast strong horses. These guys are so strong. I could use six of them and probably pull a full sled of 1,000 pounds. But we use 10 because they have to run multiple times a day. These guys can run 20 miles a day, day after day. No problem. They love it. Every single minute of it. Colors are really starting to pop here. Northern Minnesota feels like fall. These leaves will be very yellow come next week. Good job, Skid. All right, boys, should we head home? See the fall colors on this section of the trail. So I try to keep up with the boys. 22, 23, 24, 25. This is in real time, it's not sped up. Six of the girls halfway in our ten and a half mile run. Mini Tesla. Hi sweetie. And there's her sister sister right there. These dogs are all half sisters except for Kina. Kina is a cousin. Raven, Diamond, and Jet are sisters. Good poop spot. Mmm, grass.
past this nummy. <laughs> you wanna keep going, huh, Jet? Good girl. Scratch it up. All right, girls, well, let's go home. We got the puppies out bird hunting. Seven puppies, old man Toybo, and Yana. We flushed one bird so far, we just started. It's very beautiful here in northern Minnesota. This is my favorite time of year, end of September, early October. After about mid-October, most of the leaves are off the trees, but they're close to peak right now. Flush them out in Urbana. Even if we don't see anything, we're all still having fun. Puppies are getting good exercise, learning how to chase, play with each other. Listen to me, stay close, all good fun. Talk to you later. We have found the beaver dam. Apparently it's really cool to traverse the beaver dam. <laughs> Goofy dogs. <laughs> what do you guys think? Toivo, did you get some water, buddy? Hey, butthole, what do you think? Any ducks? <laughs> Okie dokie. Talk to you later. Sit. What'd you get into? Huh? Toad? And that's what happens when you play with toads. They don't taste very good, do they? Huh? We'd be nice to Mr. Toad. What you got there, buddy? What is that? Is that a moose? Nirvana? What you got? Where'd you get that moose skull? Well, actually, Toivo brought this moose skull home years and years ago. Somebody had dumped it, I think, across my driveway, but they cut the antlers off. You can see that. Hey, but Yeah, they cut the antlers off and took that, but definitely tell it's a moose. A big old moose. Now Nirvana's playing with it. Okay, you can have it. So Butch is gonna doze this here. I've cleared out all these trees. Uh, this was maybe two years ago. But this is the last year I've cleared all of this out. Including today. My buddy Pat came and helped me move the harness shack that is right there temporarily we put it on skids and drug it with the can-am no problem got our huge boulder here and I cut down a big sugar maple here today that we'll use for firewood and this is going to be the parking lot for all of our clients so this will look completely different when it's dozed, maybe tomorrow. Butch dropped off his excavator this morning. I'm having this, oh, excuse me, driveway wind out so I can get semis in here. I need to get a semi in here because I order dog food by the ton. So this is gonna be widened out a little bit, probably 10 feet on each side leveled out and this is going to be leveled out right here some of these trees will be taken out I'm getting 
my gate pulled and then I'm going to put a new gate down at the end of the driveway down there just to keep the riffraff out. So this will look entirely different in a week like for part two. I was standing in the middle of the kennel here well the future kennel got a good helper Mr. Nirvana <laughs> but here's a tree I cut down a couple days ago we're hauling it away for firewood we leave these big stumps here so that Butch can push them out with the dozer there's Mr. Toy Evil Another tree I cut down, gotta haul that. Gotta cut down this maple, the one behind it. That one, a couple of little birches. This one for firewood. We'll see if I can get to these little ones, but I think I'll leave them. Probably cut that one. Yeah. At least we're starting. What do you think, Mr. Toivo? No response. All right, here's my driveway now. It's widened out quite a bit. These guys were able to do this in half a day. <laughs> Amazing. This was all woods. I had cut it down, cut the trees out. I pulled all the stumps and dozed it. Super stoked. Check this out over here. Here's where the permanent kennel's gone. This was all trees two years ago. I cut them all out. And now, finally getting it dozed and excavated for the permanent kennel. It's gonna be awesome. 400 foot by 400 foot kennel. Oh, I can't wait. All right, gotta get back to work. Right, Nirvana? Checking things out. I'm just amazed at how fast these guys are getting this done. When you want it done right, hire a professional. <laughs> Look at this. This is so awesome. It's gonna be the new kennel right here. We're still on day one. Got a whole nother day to go. Good morning, it's Thursday, October 8th. And we are still free running the dogs. We haven't got the harnesses out yet because it's been way too warm. And really important thing with training dogs is to be consistent because they rely on you for everything and they they look forward to running this is what they want to do this is what they're bred to do so once you get the harnesses out might as well keep them out and keep going but the temperature has not been consistent enough it's been extremely humid in the mornings you know it'd be 50 55 degrees in the morning plus 90 to 98 percent humidity you can't run sled dogs in those conditions even the 45 degree mornings are at 100% humidity so be consistent and be patient you'll do well
got the old dogs out right now, taking it nice and slow, nice and easy for them. This is their first run of the season. There's some 12 year olds on this team. So we're going nice and slow. I'm not gonna go any faster than 12 miles an hour. And we're going short. We're gonna do um, just about three miles. Get them out, get them moving. They were really excited to run. Having fun, we had some frost this morning. Buckets of water were frozen. It was 27 degrees when I woke up. And right now it's probably about 35, supposed to be a high of 40 today, so I can run dogs all day if I wanted to. But having fun. Talk to you later. Alright, alright. We just did our little turnaround. Oli is really good at come ha. We turned around right in the middle of the trail. It's a good thing sled dogs are all-wheel drive, otherwise we'd never be able to get through this mud puddle here. In the next one I'll let them get a little bit of a drink. That's been dry all summer and we've had uh, a couple inches of rain here in the last week. So uh, it's good, we're in a severe drought right now. We're 11 inches low on the year, which is pretty crazy. I'll go real slow, let them get a drink. A lot of people ask if the machine is in neutral and um, no, it's not. These dogs cannot pull um, 1,800 pound machine up these steep hills that we have out here. They're, you know, 8% grade. 9% grade hills. I would need 30 dogs hooked up to pull it. Plus when the machine is in gear, I use the engine to slow down and your speed is a lot more consistent. If it was in neutral and just rolling, I'd be wearing on my brakes all the time. So you use the motor to slow down and I gotta help the dogs on the uphills too. Oh, Rymel's pooping. Good job, buddy. So leave her in gear and you can control your speed, control your dog team, and help them out. Talk to you later. Okay, here we go. First run for uh, some of my veterans here. Well, two and three year olds and then old lady Anna, she's up there 11 with her son uh, Groot. And a lot of her kids are on this team. Everybody except for Raven, Jet, and Oreo are Yana's kids. It's a nice little team here. We're going to keep it easy. I'm not going to go any faster than 14. They've been free running all summer, so they're in shape. They're just not in pulling shape. So we start them slow, we start them easy. And we're going to do four and a half miles for their first run. Beautiful day in the North Woods of Minnesota. Talk to you later. We have our first accumulating snowfall of the year. I think this is the first snowfall the puppies have ever seen. Mike is coming over. He's got some uh, carcasses. My local butcher. Some cow carcasses. So they save the trimmings and all the bones for us and I cut up the bones for the dogs. It helps clean their teeth. And they get lots of meat scraps. Free of charge. That's how we recycle cows up here in northern Minnesota. What you got there, Alice? A leaf? What do you think of this snow, Mr. Nirvana? What is this stuff? What do you think, Nirvana? Hi, huh, buddy? Snoo, 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 snoo. Eat a boy. Yeah, <laughs> you like it, huh? 
That's fun stuff. Good morning. Here we got about four inches of really wet snow. We're going mushing. Woohoo! My grace. My sister. Remember the dog that got stuck by a porcupine? This is her right here. That's sister. One week later, she's at it. Ari and Ario. And look at this brand new puppy. This is my dog school. Good boy, Nirvana. Good boy. Good boy. Beautiful day in northern Minnesota. So we run our puppies when they first start running in a single spot because they kind of bounce around and uh, we don't want them bouncing off their partner until they figure it out. And here we are a quarter mile and he's figured it out already. He's not pulling hard, but he's just a puppy. You know, he's almost seven months old. So he's doing a really good job for his first time. We just take it nice and easy. That's why we run with the older dogs. These guys will train each other faster than I can. You can see he wants to run faster. Doing a good job, Mr. Nirvana. Atta boy. We're not going far. It's about three miles. So nice and easy today. Good boy, Nirvana. Hey, look at him now. We are only... Oh, there's moose tracks. There's moose tracks back there. I'll show you when uh, we come back this way. But look at him now. He's pulling. Same run. We're just a mile into it. Good boy, Nirvana. Look at how beautiful the trees are today. Loving it. Good boy, Mr. Nirvana. Good boy. He's charging. This is sled dog school. Kindergarten. Atta boy, Nirvana. Atta boy make a left hand turn up here. Holy ha! Ha! Holy ha! Ha! Holy ha! 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 Good boy, Ole! Well, I thought those were moose tracks, but that kind of looks like uh, Canadian lynx. Or, uh, yeah, it's, that's Canadian lynx. Huge paws. Good boy, Mr. Nirvana. He's doing a good job, buddy. Oreo and Arby. Rhymo. Hello. Hushabelle. Good job, guys. What do you think? Oh, Chevelle, yes. Good job, Oli. He's an old man. He's 12 years old. Chevelle? How old is Chevelle? I think Chevelle's 10. Good job, guys. Looking good. So we got one of the main teams out here today. Uh, Yana and her son Groot are running in lead. Yana's doing amazing for an 11 year old dog. Uh, a lot of her kids are on this team. Almost all the dogs, except for Hulan, Jet, and Raven, are uh, Yana's kids. Yeah, so we're supposed to get uh, four to seven inches of snow today. 
and I got a dozer coming in. I'm gonna be doing some uh, trail work uh, on my property, and uh, yeah, lots of snow in October so far. Well, we know it's gonna melt. It'll melt in November, that's for sure. Talk to you later. I just wanted to say something about all the people who are whining and complaining about snow. The fact is, it snowed here every year for your entire life. It snowed every year before you were born. It's going to snow every year after you're dead. There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> you can't change the weather. We need snow, we're in a severe drought right now. And we need to keep our lakes and rivers flowing. So you can charge your cell phone. You can go fishing, you can go boating. You can enjoy everything that Minnesota is. So I suggest that you get a winter hobby and then enjoy the outdoors because it goes by faster than you think. Look at who we got here. We got Oli and Chevelle and Joan. She's the mom of the puppies from her sister Grace, Auntie Grace. And the Huskies, there's Casper and Bebop. Grandpa Ari and his daughter Oreo. Puppy Nirvana's doing a good job today. And a brand new puppy, Mr. Butthole. He's doing a good, good job, buddy. Good boy. Good job, Mr. Butthole. We got a little more wet, heavy snow last night. I think Lake Superior blew most of the snow south of us, which is fine. It's, it's melting, but like I said before in the last video, it'll probably melt. Mr. Butthole did a really good job. He figured it out about one mile into it. Same as his brother, Nirvana. Beautiful day in northern Minnesota. Talk to you later. Hey, we're gonna do a cold start on the Case 850M wide track dozer. It's 12 degrees this morning. Oh, of course, the door is frozen. Hope I didn't tear up the rubber. Four, five, four, certainly ten. Here we go. <laughs> She's alive. get on snow fast enough really this time of year so uh, late October all through November is really tough on their feet but it makes their feet tough so we don't use booties and let them build up calluses and grind down their nails but we're gonna hit a uh, softer trail with a lot of snow a little bit later and a uh, nice little eight-mile run for this team today talk to you later Here's one of the main teams for today. We're getting out really early. It was already uh, 46 degrees in the sun at 7.30 this morning. So we got a warm trend. I've been, um, it's my 11th year of training sled dogs and every fall the months flip flop. So if it's cold in September, it's warm in October. If it's warm in October, it's cold in November. So we had a cold snap 
in October and therefore we have a warm snap here for the next week in November I called it experience will tell you so we're taking it short trying to get out as early as I can been waking up consistently at 4 30 a.m. having breakfast getting things ready doing emails running the business talk to you later when there's no snow in the fall on the ground we have to give the dogs water you can see how hot they are today go mr. Groot we keep them chained up on the gang line keeps them facing forward here you go boys turbo star lord yum 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 and a rocket yondu you go good boys who's next raven hulan you go girls who's next Rax, brave There you go, boys. And one more. Raven and Krima. Hey, girls. The FedEx driver just left. I ordered these beautiful paddles. Let's take them out. Shaft paddle. Brand new 52 for the front seater. Mm, this is the mother. Look at that beautiful paddle. Good time in the Boundary Waters. Oh yeah, baby. Good morning, Minnesota. We got snow. Oh, maybe five, six inches. Look at these puppies. They love it. They all wanna go running. Got my mucklucks on. And we're gonna run two dog teams today in the new snow. All ready to go. Domino and Elroy, Rhymo and Mindy, Casper and Bebop, Tesla and Sister. We got Puppy Nirvana. Hey, buddy. And Mr. Butthole, ready buddies! Crazy. We are breaking trail. Maybe five, six inches. It's all hard packed under here at gravel road, so it's not too bad, but you can't go as fast, obviously, because them running through five, six inches of snow is the same as us trying to run through about a foot to 18 inches of snow. So, we take it easy, pack down the trail. They're getting a good workout, that's for sure. And they absolutely love it. Beautiful snow day in northern Minnesota. Anybody want to go dog sledding? Check out my website, endurancekennels.com. We'll take ya. Talk to you later. Here's one of the main teams today. This year I have 24 uh, fast, strong, young dogs. Anywhere from the ages of 2 to 
to, I would say, nine, eight or nine, and then plus Yana, she's 11, and the rest are veterans, uh, older dogs between the ages of 10 and 12, and then my seven puppies. So, mix this team up a little bit. We'll run two teams again tomorrow. I'm gonna harness break some new puppies and see how they do. Another beautiful day in northern Minnesota for some dog sledding. Talk to you later. One of the comments we get a lot are these dogs are so skinny. Why are your dogs so skinny? Well, skinny to me, because I was an athlete, is somebody that's got anorexia and is not eating. These guys, on the other hand, are very fit. They're very strong, very muscular, very athletic dogs. And what happens when my dogs get fat, they overheat and they can't keep up with their team. So we keep them lean in the fall, which it is still fall, and they'll gain a little bit of weight once we start feeding meat here at the end of the month. And they'll be good the rest of the winter. Keep your dogs fit, keep your dogs happy. Talk to you later. Welcome back to another episode of Sled Dog TikTok. A lot of people ask, what breed are your dogs? These are sprint racing dogs and even the Alaskans, racing Alaskans, are mutts. But the sprinters are usually mixed with Greyhound, German Short Hair Pointer, English Pointer, and Alaskan Husky. And these were mixed in a long, long time ago. If I took a Greyhound and mixed it into these guys, it wouldn't make them better sled dogs. They would be faster, but there's a lot of other traits that are very important in making a good sled dog. So there you go. Talk to you later. We got puppy training day today. I distracted them. There's Pumpkin and Niner. We had Gamora in that open spot there, but she decided that uh, she was going to do the barrel roll again. So, she's riding with me. <laughs> We're going to have to work with Miss Gamora one-on-one. -on -one. The puppies are doing excellent. A little icy. So they're slipping around, jumping around, trying to figure it out. They want to go faster, but I don't want them to fall and hurt themselves. Yeah. Talk to you later. <coughs> Welcome back to another edition of Sled Dog TikTok. I'll show you our setup here. I have some iron rope. That is attached to my plow mount on the UTV. Carabiner, line. There's a bungee there for shock absorption. And then we have another carabiner with the wheel section. These are the tugs that hook onto the dog's harness. And then up here are the necklines that hook onto their collars. And this whole section, everything together, is called a gang line. And the wheel tugs are longer than the team tugs. And the leader tugs are up here. And they are shorter than the team sections. And then the leaders are held together with the leader coupler on their collars. The details of the gang line, this center line right here is coated aircraft cable. It's very expensive but it's very strong and it doesn't stretch. And then the tugs are just a 12 braid hollow poly. They'll stretch a little bit 
And then for the necklines, we use chains because we get a lot of dogs that get overexcited and they chew. And these snaps here have little tiny S hooks. So if a dog gets tangled or gets pulled too hard, these S hooks will give and the snap will give too so the dogs don't get hurt. But this setup is different than our racing setup. For the racing setup, we have iron rope for the main section and poly rope for the necklines and the tugs. Welcome back to another edition of Sled Dog TikTok. We got the more experienced puppy team here. I think this will be the last time they run in a single slot. We'll pair them up with an experienced adult next time. Just a little bit of snow last night which covered up the ice and it looks like the snow is sticking to the ice which is good. Means we can go just a little bit faster with the pups today. Tomorrow we have our very first ride of the season. Should be fun. And then uh, we got rides every weekend now until we get more snow in December. And Sleds out. Do some dog sled. Northern Minnesota, eh? Talk to you later. Welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. We are breaking trail here. One of the main teams. They were absolutely crazy this morning. I got four 90 plus pound boys on this team and they were on another level so wanted to go faster today but the road is still very icy and uh, you can easily injure a dog so we went slower and we're gonna go a little bit longer and dogs don't uh, their shoulders don't move like us humans they don't move laterally very well They're, they uh, go forward and back very well and you could easily injure a sled dog for two three weeks possibly a month two months or the entire season so it's very important to take it easy and prevent injuries talk to you later the dogs depend on us mushers for their safety so it's important that you know the trails that you're running on I always check the trails before we run on them just to make sure there's no surprises a lot of people don't do that but last year we only had three injuries and I ran just over 9,000 dogs so that's unheard of uh, for that amount of dogs to not be injured so make sure you check your trails your trails are safe slow down to let them move over objects, teach them how to run on ice slowly, and you'll have a happy, healthy dog team the entire season. Talk to you later. Welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. I wanted to introduce you quickly to this team while we take a break. That's Yana and Raven, our leaders today. There's Didzak and Datsun, the big boys. There's Skid and Diamond. Kina and Baoya. There's Hulan and Crema. And Little Miss Jet. And Breve. Beautiful day in northern Minnesota. Look at this. See, they don't even want to stop. Talk to you later. Welcome back to another edition of Sled Dog TV. We are open for the season uh, with the COVID-19 restrictions don't affect us. We are an outdoor activity, so naturally socially distant. We do not mix groups of people and we do not have indoor buildings or gatherings. And uh, COVID-19 positive people are not going to want to participate in outdoor winter activities anyways. So you should be totally safe. My father's a physician, so we're going to follow some of his office rules, but 
outdoors the virus doesn't spread as easily and we are naturally socially distant so come on up book a dog sled ride we'll take you out talk to you later check this out we have the brand new puppy team there's alice at the back and pearl and stoney's he's figuring out a little bit we're not even half a mile out yet Alice is doing a wonderful job. Pearl's doing a good job. And Stoney will figure it out here in just a little bit. Taking it nice and easy. We've got our old veterans up in lead. They're showing them how to do it. They can train each other faster than I can. Now Stoney's running. Alice is doing wonderful. Good girl, Alice. I'm distracting them. Another beautiful day in Minnesota. Talk to you later. Good morning. I wanted to give you a quick tour of Endurance Kennels version 2.0. I cleared this land this fall, dozed it. And last night, Malia and I pounded posts. We ran into a couple spots where uh, there were some big boulders. Tough to get it in. And the post pounder seemed to want to stop at about three and a half feet so this is one of the kennel shoots here we got two picket sides one there one here and then the trail the new exit trail going right there and the harness shack is down here I dragged it down with my truck it needs to be leveled and another shoot right here going out to that trail version 2.0 the dogs are going to be pushed back further this way, um, back further this way, we got room for 35 dogs here, but not all the dogs are going to move. So um, this will be cleared and leveled out here next spring. And we'll keep moving dogs back and then keep... Um, these exit trails here obviously these couple dogs will need to move and the pickets will move and we can tighten it up a little bit but yeah so this is going to be much more efficient easier for clients easier to see dogs feed dogs um, do everything that is sled dogs Talk to you later. Welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. And we'll show you how our dogs live here. Most sled dog kennels are like this. Hi, Raven. Hi, sweetie. This is Raven's house. And she loves getting on top of her house. In the summer, they have room for shade. They can get all the way around the back there. And this pipe is just a rebar. Push down in, and I weld those up. And this is their food bucket, nice stainless steel. And their houses are filled with straw. Once it gets colder, we jam a lot more straw in there, so they have 
insulation. They get brand new straw about every three weeks. Yeah. Good girl. Shake a paw. She's a sweetie. Good girl, Raven. Yes, I love you, sweetie. Good girl. Good morning. Welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. I just picked up my trailer from the butcher. Minnesota deer season just ended uh, on Sunday and we get as much venison carcasses as we can handle. This will feed the dogs. We feed out bones and uh, small chunks, fat, scraps uh, once a week throughout the winter. And this cleans their teeth naturally. And it's a good system that we have with our local butcher because otherwise he has to pay money to get rid of these carcasses and they feed the maggots. So it goes to the dogs, keeps them fat, keeps them happy and their teeth clean. Talk to you later. Good morning, welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. We got the kennel set up last night. All the houses moved, dogs moved. Malia, Pat and I worked half a day on this. And I still got more boys over here. I'm gonna make another roll back there. Haven't got that far yet, but we're moving right along. I love the new kennel setup. It's gonna be much more efficient to run teams, get team stage, get customers through here. Look at how nice these rows are. What you think there, Stony? I know. Stony buddy. Yep, we're turning off the comments now because you guys cannot behave on TikTok. So, if you want answers to your questions, you have to look at our other videos because we've answered every single question out there. Well, here's the old dog yard. Very quiet over here. And here is the new one. Pat, Malia, and I moved houses last night. I still got one more row to put back there. We got uh, seven boys still over on the back side over here. And we'll move. It's getting close to being done. We're still going to go further back this way. I'm going to clear that, doze that. I want to go 400 feet back from here, way back there. And then it'll be finally permanent. But this has been nine years in the making. And <laughs> I love how it turned out. It'll be good. Talk to you later. Good morning. Welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. It's Thanksgiving. So my goal here on TikTok is to show you what we do. I don't need your opinion. I don't care about your opinion because you are not an expert musher. We have elders in the sport. We have mushers that have been doing it for 50 years. I have mentors. I started with mentors. You're going to get much further in this sport if you do that. So, yeah. We'll talk. So, all you have to do is go to our website and take a look. There's a lot of information on there. If you want to learn a little bit of details, it's more efficient for you to come and go dog sledding with us. We'd love to take you out and show you what these beautiful athletes do. Right, Raven? Be a good girl. Talk to you later. Good morning. Happy Thanksgiving. Welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. A lot of people ask how much time I actually spend training the dogs, running the dogs. It's only about 10% of my time. I work 70 to 100 hours a week just doing business stuff. So I have to answer phone calls, return phone calls, answer emails, maintain the website. I also take pictures for the clients and I have to groom and maintain the trails every single day. I have to plow my road. I have to plow on my property. I have to scoop poop, <laughs> maintain the kennel, make sure the dogs are healthy. I have to feed the dogs. I have to manage the five staff that I have and get them scheduled. So I get up about 4 a.m. and I work until about 8 p.m. or sometimes midnight. 
whatever it takes to get the job done, you got to get it done. Talk to you later. Good morning. Welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. I wanted to show you how I'm giving the birdies their Thanksgiving dinner. This is a venison carcass that was harvested during the deer season here in Minnesota. Our butcher gives us lots of meat for the dogs. The dogs get it once a week in the winter. Cleans their teeth and puts fat on their bones. The birds just love it. These birds are outside in the cold all winter, so they need lots of calories. And all they do is eat lots of nice fat, tallow, and protein for the birdies. They'll pick this bone completely clean. And then I'll dispose of the carcass. Talk to you later. Welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. We got a new boy here with us from the Shoe Wilers, Aaron and Chad. He's a sprinty boy. His name is Panther. I picked him up yesterday. He was a free dog for us. He's two years old. And he's just too sprinty for the mid-distance folks. And we have another dog named Bebop. <laughs> Thanks, Nirvana. Another dog named Bebop from the Shoe that we bought last spring. But he's being very shy. We just fed him. Thank you, Nirvana. But uh, you can see here, he's cuddled in to his house. A little bit close. That's a good boy. Talk to you later. Good morning, welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. Got a brand new tool for chewing up our trail. Look at how hard packed and icy glaze this is. And the side by side and low gear, four wheel drive, diff locked out. Got a six foot by eight foot drag harrow. And it's chewing up all that ice so the dogs don't slip. Pretty freaking sweet, man. Yeehaw! Talk to you later. We got Elroy and Domino in lead today. Mindy and the new dog, Panther. Pumpkin and Uncle Rymo. Sister and Tesla. Butthole and Casper. Nirvana and Bebop. Puppy team number one. Good afternoon. Welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. We got puppy team number one here. The puppies, these puppies are now paired up with an adult, an experienced adult. Nirvana's at the back. His brother Butthole is just in front of him. And Pumpkin's up there with the new dog, Mr. Panther. I had to move Rymo because Pumpkin has decided that she wants to run on the right. Now Panther's pooping. So we'll stop. He's not pooping and running. Most dogs can poop and run. Ready? All right. So we're learning how to stay straight. They're preferring size, but whole legs the right, Nirvana can run on either side, Pumpkin likes to run on the right, nice and easy, talk to you later. Alright TikTokers, you better get a dose of reality here, we gotta feed out venison tonight, dogs are gonna be happy, clean their teeth, stay tuned. Okay, I do this once a week. And uh, we feed this out to the mutts. Dogs come from wolves. Wolves eat everything that is edible. Dogs are going nuts already. And I already fed and watered for tonight. This is a supplement to help put weight on. I haven't even started giving it out yet. You can see how crazy everybody is going. They all want their venison. Right, Grace? Okay, here you go, Grace. Here you go. 
Chris. Okay, who wants this big chunk? Oh, let's figure this out. Domino? Well, we can give you more. You go, Domino. Go, sweetie. Okay, Domino. We'll get you more. How's that going, Grace? Yeah, I don't want to give them too much. You want to overload their system. So I'll supplement every other night this week. I'm happy. Hey, skid buddy. Do you want some? Oh my goodness, look at this skid. Here, skid. Here. 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 We'll take that. Oh, my boy. Nummy, nummy, nummy. Good morning. We have the puppy team number two. This is Oli and Chevelle, Grace and Joan. And then we have Ari and Oreo. Ari. Look at this puppy Pearl. Good girl Pearl. And puppy Alice. Hi Alice. Yeah, good girl Alice. And Stoney. What are you doing there, Stoney? Let's go forward, buddy. Beautiful morning. Good morning, welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. Oli wasn't having it today, so I moved Joan up there. Puppies are doing well. All right, all right. Puppies are doing well. We're just chugging along here at seven, eight, nine miles an hour. Not very fast at all, but this is a better position for Mr. Stoney right now. Alice and Pearl are doing very well. Chevelle and Joan are in lead, followed by Grace and Oli. And we have Oreo and Ari. Pearl, Alice, and Mr. Stoney. Beautiful morning, northern Minnesota. We need some snow. Talk to you later. Good morning, welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. We got one of the main teams here today. We backed them up just a little bit in mileage. We're doing a six mile loop today. And uh, tarmac, tarmac! And uh, we got lots of poop going on. So, give them a quick little rest here until everybody's ready to run. Let's see, they don't like stopping very much. Tarmac's being extra naughty today. We need to get more miles in these dogs. We will. They'll be running smooth by the end of January. Pretty typical. Talk to you later. Good morning. Welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. We got puppy team number one here. There are four puppies in this team. Can you guess which ones they are? Guess the position from the back to the front and which side the puppies are on. Insert your guesses in the comments. Like and follow. Talk to you later. <laughs> Good morning, welcome back to Sled Dog TV. We got puppy team number one here. <laughs> Our veterans, Domino and Elroy. That's a happy dog there, right Dom? And Mindy and Rymo. Pumpkin and Turbo. And then we got Butthole and Panther. We got Mr. Niner. Hi Niner buddy. And Casper, Crazy Casper. And Mr. Nirvana and his best friend Bebop. Yeah. 
Good looking puppy team here. They just turned eight months old last Saturday and they're doing really well. We got them going five miles right now. Talk to you later. Welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. I've done this video before. I'm gonna do it again because people are too lazy to scroll through the videos and they're too lazy to go back to last season. The dogs are pulling the side by side right now because we're still in fall training. We don't have enough snow for sleds. Obviously you can run a sled on two inches of snow, but you can't stop. You need to have full control of your dog team at all times, all times. If you can't stop, put your hook down, hold the dog team, get off the sled, fix your error, you're gonna be in a world of hurt. You're gonna injure your dogs, you're gonna lose your dog team. You might even kill a dog. You're gonna break your sled and possibly injure yourself. Full control at all times. Sleds come out when we have five inches of packed snow. You know, some of these people here on TikTok are really funny. They crack me up. The only exposure they've had to sled dogs is through Disney movies, and they see these big, fluffy huskies. These are sprint racing sled dogs. They're bred for speed. They're much more high maintenance. Your huskies, all right. Your huskies are bred for sleeping on the snow in the Arctic, for Arctic expeditions. These guys have houses, they have shelters. And they're organized in the dog yard so I can take care of them properly and know which dog may be sick. They also need to rest because they work super hard. If the dog's running around loose all the time, it's never gonna have time to rest, it's never gonna have time to recover. These are athletes. They're not couch potato pets. Welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. I've done this video and I'll do it again because people are too lazy to go through and watch other videos and they ask repetitive questions. Our dogs perform the best at zero Fahrenheit to 20 below. Every five degrees above zero, I see a decrease in performance. These dogs wanna be able to run as fast as they possibly can. They get hot today, it's about 21 degrees, and the dogs are a little warm. That's just how it is. It doesn't get cold in Minnesota. When you get up to Alaska or Northern Canada, you get the minus 60, minus 50. It's not that cold in Minnesota. You, you might get one or two days that are minus 35 at night. We're not running at night. Talk to you later. Our average daytime temperatures in the winter, it's not even winter yet, it's still fall, um, in northern Minnesota here, maybe 15 to 18 degrees. That's not cold. All right. It might get down to minus 20 or minus 25 at night. Not a big deal. Some days we get a lot of wind where it's minus 35 it be minus 15 for a high and maybe minus 35. These dogs love running in that stuff because they can go all out and not get hot. They're bred for the cold. This is what they're made for. They're not made for heat. I've had many dogs overheat and one of them almost died because he overheated and that was at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Talk to you later. Welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. I'm going to show you here, after we're done running, groups, the dogs know to go back to their own houses and we give them a little treat. Right, Groot? He knows right where his house is. Good boy, yeah, good boy. Come here, Groot. Groot, come here, buddy. Okay, Groot. No, sit. Groot. Sit. 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 Groot. Sit. 
Good boy, good boy. Good boy, Groot. Welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. We got puppy team number one, Elroy and Domino. Got a boy, Elroy. Mindy and Rhino. Panther and Pumpkin. Got Sister and Butthole. We got Crazy Casper and Niner straight out in line. And Bebop and Nirvana. They're ready to roll. Welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. We got the puppy team here. Look at Mr. Niner, he's foaming. These guys are loving getting out. We have rides this weekend on the sleds, not enough snow for sleds, so what we do is we hook up the side by side behind the sled, run a line underneath to the gang line so I can control. There's coverage, but you need a good five, six inch packed base to be able to stop safely and control your dog team. Yeah. These guys want to get going here. So, we'll talk to you later. Okie dokie, welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok there. We got the old man Elroy and the Domino. Mindy and the Rhymo. Panther and the Pumpkin. Sister and the Butthole. Casper and the Niner. Hi Niner. Hi buddy. Nirvana and the Bebop. Yeah, we got a little bit of snow there in northern Minnesota. Got some covered here and not enough snow to go uh, take a sauna and then uh, jump in the roll in the snow, you know, but uh, crazy dogs here. But uh, we got to get going back and get some lefts, uh, so I'll uh, talk to you later. Welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok there. We have snow. Most of our clients come from the Twin Cities and city folks down there they're three hours away and south so they look outside their window and see brown it doesn't mean there's no snow when you go three hours north at a higher elevation in North America when you go north it's colder and there's more snow imagine that we have snow see see that white stuff that's not fake it's real it's snow we have snow. <sighs> <sighs> Okie dokie. Talk to you later. <laughs> Welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. We got Yana and Raven. Skid and Diamond. Big boys, Zach and Asun. Kina and Baoya. These two crazies. He's so strong, he broke this rope. That's all right, I'll fix it. My strongest dog team right here, these big bruisers at 95 pounds. Welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. We got Yana and Raven in this team. There's Skid and Diamond. We got our first little rest in the shade here. That's soon it did Zoc, my big boys. Another big boy and sister, Kina and Bioya. There's Miss Jet and Hulan. Brother and sister, Krima and Breve. This group of dogs plus uh, 16 more that I have back at the kennel will be running 15 to 20 miles a day, seven days a week during our Christmas New Year's rush. And uh, they're gonna be super fit super muscular and super happy dogs they want to get going they want to get going talk to you later <laughs> welcome back to slide dog tiktok
Raven is stuck. She's frozen to the ground. How do I get her out? How do I oh, oh, she's fine. Oh, okay. Would that be silly? I wouldn't like that. Oh, he's so scary. He's so oh, I'm his Raven. Oh, she got stuck on the ground. Oh, poor baby Raven. She's so big. Oh, you poor baby. Welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. We got Yana and her son Groot. And one of her boys, Mr. Star Lord and Raven. There's Rocket and Turbo. That combo. There's Drax. Yandu, hi boys. There's Warrant and Miss Tarmac. And Winger and Poison. We got the tracks on the side by side yesterday afternoon. We're getting ready for clients this weekend. It's about a three hour process. These guys are looking pretty good. We got warm weather here today. And yesterday we lost a lot of snow in the kennel, but Tarmac's being naughty again. We gotta go. Talk to you later. Yana and her son Groot. And one of her boys, Mr. Star Lord and Raven. There's Rocket and Turbo. That combo. There's Drax. Yandu, hi boys. There's Warrant and Miss Tarmac. And Winger and Poison. We got the tracks on the side by side yesterday afternoon. We're getting ready for clients this weekend. It's about a three hour process. These guys are looking pretty good. We got warm weather here today. And yesterday we lost a lot of snow in the kennel, but Tarmac's being naughty again. We gotta go. Talk to you later.
These guys are sprint racing sled dogs, so they're um, German short hair, English pointer, greyhound, and husky. But if you did a DNA test on them, they'd be mostly husky. They're bred for speed and endurance. Did you have fun dog sledding today? Yes. What was your favorite part? Um, seeing the dogs run. Seeing the dogs run? Is this your favorite dog? No. What's his name? It's Butthole. <laughs> I think he likes you too. You come back again when we have some little puppies? Yeah. Come visit? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. One time I found a nest of baby bunnies and I thought they were chew toys so I tried to pull out the stuffing and then I brought them to my mom to play fetch and she started crying. Now my whole family calls me Ted Bunny. When I was a puppy I used to drink all the water available and pee all over the house. I also used to eat socks whole and my parents would make me throw them up. Now I am an old man and I try to steal other dogs food unless my dad catches me. I'm a husky I do what I want my name is Toivo.
Sometimes my lips sometimes get stuck on my teeth. teeth. You think it looks weird, but I can't help it. Oh no. My lip just gets stuck on my teeth. Deal with it. Good morning. Welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. I just picked up my trailer from the butcher. Minnesota deer season just ended uh, on Sunday and we get as much venison carcasses as we can handle. This will feed the dogs. We feed out bones and uh, small chunks, fat, scraps uh, once a week throughout the winter. And this cleans their teeth naturally. And it's a good system that we have with our local butcher because otherwise he has to pay money to get rid of these carcasses and they feed the maggots. So it goes to the dogs, keeps them fat, keeps them happy and their teeth clean. Talk to you later. Welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. Here's my freezer box here. Just an eight by eight little building that we built. And it has four inches of fiberglass and two inches of foam. And this is beef organ that we feed the dogs. We have 1,000 pounds of this right now. And 4,000 pounds of beef. Freezer is at half capacity. We could put 8,000 pounds in here, but this is what we're feeding right now, plus a little bit of kibble. This is everything mixed up here. The dogs are eating 92 pounds of meat per day. I mean, Welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. We got about a mile left here in today's run. I wanted to show you guys just how powerful these dogs are. Okay, so this machine weighs 2,000 pounds with me in it. I'm gonna put it in neutral, I never do this just to show you how strong they are. Ready? All right. And we got rolling resistance on the snow, slight uphill. Freaking amazing, look at that power. Welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. This is my well. I didn't have a well until last Christmas. I live off grid with 45 dogs. Oh my god, off grid! Yep, off grid. I am running this with a generator. My well is. 143 feet deep and this is how we get water before this I had to haul 35 gallon buckets per day into the house from the local artesian well an hour away talk to you later this is my well. I didn't have a well until last Christmas. I live off grid with 45 dogs. Oh my God, off grid. Yep, off grid. I am running this with a generator. My well is 143 feet deep. And this is how we get water. Before this, I had to haul 35 gallon buckets per day into the house from the local artesian well an hour away. Talk to you later. Welcome back to Sled Dog TikTok. Got the tandem sled out here today. This is our second group on this brand new sled, new ride for us. So it gives the customers an experience of driving a dog team without actually driving a dog team. 
and I'm on the back here and there's a spot for a customer in front of me and then her friend is right there in the basket. Got a little bit of snow last night. Covered up some of the brown dirt. And we're having fun in the woods, northern Minnesota. Talk to you later.